Sometimes happens that you have a great photo, but the subject is too dark. Well, let me tell you that there is a secret tool in Lightroom that not many people know about that is really, really useful in these cases. So let's dive into it. What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Simone and I'm a professional Italian photo videographer. And in this channel, we explore strategies and tools to improve our photography business and productivity. Now, when I was in Tenerife, there was a beautiful sunset and I shot a few pictures of my girlfriend with a very nice reflection while at the beach. But then looking back at the photo, I'm like, this is too dark. The subject is too dark. And I was able to fix it in Photoshop. But then I thought, okay, there is a tool in Lightroom that if you don't have Photoshop or if you don't know how to use it, well, that could be really for you. So I thought, okay, let's make a video about this. So once I'm here in Lightroom, the first thing that you wanna do is always try to edit the photo, right? So we're gonna increase the exposure like so, maybe increase the contrast. In this case, I wanna modify the blues and maybe Maybe drag them towards the teal and decrease yeah the saturation like so and also decrease the luminance so yeah maybe dragging the you a little bit towards the right again and I think this looks pretty fine now let's create an S curve right here so we decrease the shadows increase the highlights a little bit and drag up this one like here very nice, then let's play around with the temperature and see if there's anything that we like more. I think this looks great. And then I wanna create a rigid filter to showcase a little bit more of this mountains right here. So let's reset all the effects, increase the exposure and drag this towards the yellow to make a contrast on this part of the image. Maybe let's increase the shadows a tiny bit. There you go. And more towards the yellow, this part, that's it. That's very nice. Now, this picture looks great already. We can remove eventually this person. Let's operate some magic here. So I'm just gonna use this tool to remove the people and there you go. Maybe let's increase the feather. So we blend them together and there you go. I think that's just fine. You're never gonna see it. All right, now we have our subject, but I think it's a little bit too dark. One thing that I can do is use a gradual filter to then increase the brightness on the subject. But then in this case, what happens is that there is a kind of a weird halo around and there is one tool that we can use to don't have this halo. So let's not use this one. We can use the brush. So we go towards the subject. And even in this case, we could just paint on around the subject, try to be as precise as possible, but this would be very difficult. And what happens in this case as well is that you're going to create a halo around that is not really pleasing to your eyes. So the tool that we need to use is that when you select the brush, you just scroll down. And here, when you have all the options of the brush, you need to click on auto mask. And what auto mask is, is that it selects and understand already what you're painting off and tries to stay below the margin off that kind of object. So in this case, if you're painting in this area where the skin is, then even though you're moving towards the sky, Lavrum understands that you want to stay only on the skin of the person in this case and just paint on it. There you go. Now, if you want to see what you're painting of, you just click O and you see that in this case, Lightroom didn't go through the skin. Maybe in this case, yes, so you just wanna use the erase, then cancel this part. Very nice. And then maybe go back there afterwards or just keep going. So you go back in the brush and then maybe paint around. Yeah, can you see that Lightroom is not going into the sky, but it's just staying on the skin. And this is really great because afterwards, I'm gonna show you that once you finish to do this, you'll be able to create a very, very nice effect. So you just keep moving on the body. There you go. There you go. I think this looks fine. And then you wanna go on the other leg. That looks good. Very nice. And once you're done, everything that you gotta do, you just click O again. Oh, I forgot the face. So let's paint on the face as well. Yeah, there you go. Everything that you've gotta do is very simply click O again to remove the red part. 
and then you're just going to play around with the brush so let's reset all the effects let's just drag up the exposure and we drag the temperature towards the yellow to have that kind of sunset effect and this is pretty much the result because we can play around again staying lower you see that you can play around just with the subject selected now doing this in photoshop is quite easy but in lightroom you need to use that auto mask function that really makes a huge difference you can also decrease the texture so you have much smoother skin and maybe play around with the highlights contrast and exposure there you go i don't like much the face here because this is not perfectly selected so we can go again grab it and just paint on top of the face so we make sure that everything is selected even maybe the hair could be selected and I think that looks fine now I don't like this part of the face so I'm just gonna use a radial filter right here and put it more towards the yellow yep there you go I didn't like that blue on the face and I think that's pretty much the result. If the brush is not perfect, you can go back again, maybe cancel some part and refine. But as you can see, that yellow of the person makes a huge contrast with the sky and I think looks pretty great. This can really be used in loads of different situations. It's a tool that not many people know about Lightroom. And if you're into Lightroom, if you're into Photoshop, if you'd like to learn more about these two software, I just want to tell you that I launched two brand new courses about them that you can purchase in bundle for a discounted price, where I show you how to use these two incredible tools from the ground. I'll leave you the link down below in the description. Check them out because the tiny price will increase very soon. And if you enjoyed this video, you also probably enjoy this playlist where I show you how I edit my Instagram photos. Don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao!